Good morning, everybody, and a happy new year to everyone, I hope. Well, I hope that Omicron hasn't uh, upset you guys all too much and, um, and that some people, well, most people were able to have a good Christmas and a new year. Um, certainly, I know with 20% of my staff affected and isolating, it's been um, a tough uh, couple of weeks, but we've done, as one of our values are, we've done the best we can. We've got through it and um, all our staff luckily haven't been too unwell. Um, we are still missing a, a significant swag load of them, but um, I think every business in Sydney um, and probably Victoria as well is missing missing a huge amount of staff. So um, I uh, I want to, to wish everyone who is off um, from my team a, a speedy recovery. We'll start to see you guys back here um, in the next few days, uh, back to work. Um, and for those that we inconvenienced uh, between Christmas and New Year, we apologise profusely about that. Um, but uh, once again, unfortunately, with Omicron and the fact that you know they expect 25% of the population to have it at any one time, um, we're going to be affected. We've got a team of 50, just over 50, um, and um, the stats are about right, somewhere between 20 and 25% affected. Uh, what that means is over the next week or two, um, there will be some disruptions to service. We will uh, endeavour to do everything that we possibly can, but emergencies come first. We will have to delay, as some of you have received messages over the last few days, we will be delaying some services um, in order to, to prioritise. Um, in terms of our new setup, and some people might ask why are we going like this, um, the setup is as follows to, to enable that my staff remain as healthy as possible, that we all don't go down all at once and we don't get it from, um, from the public. Um, I know that everyone's out and socialising, so there's a degree in, of inevitability um, involved. Um, so here we are in Patterson this time, so some of you have consulted over here, um, but what we'll actually be doing is we've set up a, a reception here. My receptionist will be here in Patterson Street, so in the Kiora Lane, um, across the road from the clinic, um, we will be set up here. Um, if you could come here um, and uh, scan in, wait for your appointment, put a mask on, wait for your appointment, um, and, um, and then the vet will come in from across the road um, and take your pet. We will not be doing any face-to-face -face consulting um, at this stage. There is no public in our building at this stage. Um, we will change with the times, and trust me, I don't, I don't like all of this. I've, I've spent all night last night with my young kids till about 9.30, moving all of the reception area across here, um, and it's the last thing I want to do, but it's, um, it's uh, I, I believe, something that, that we need to do. Um, uh, at some point, we, we, I know a lot of you are questioning what the government's doing. I think the government's done a pretty good job, um, although, albeit, um, we've got to remember that um, we, we small business has suffered um, and small business will continue to suffer whether it's staffing levels whether it's um, fear levels um, some of my, my my staff who are casuals haven't been able to afford rent over the last couple of weeks there's no assistance for that we're doing everything that we can to, to look after everyone so there's a lot going on everybody and um, what I want um, to everyone to realize is that we we are here for Number one, your patients, your pets, um, your family members that need our help. Number two, for my staff, that's what we're doing this for um, because we're a close-knit team and um, we respect each other and we want to make sure that everyone is mentally and physically fit and that's the most important things. And so um, poor behaviour won't be tolerated. Um, rude emails that I've received over the, over the weekend won't be tolerated. Um, we are here for the community um, and that's what we intend to do so thank you very much everybody um, have hopefully to 2022 will be a better year a safer year and a happier year um, and once we can get this omicron off our off our uh, shoulders um, we'll be back to normal as soon as we can thank you see you all soon bye bye now